Morning, Chile. Morning. <laughs> you don't seem to be both in the pit. <laughs> Mikey. No, there's one. Day, stage it's... 10. You did the same walking. <laughs> just walking like this. Walking. We've just left Neha. Neha, and we stayed in an now. amazing apartment. I did a video of Jilly sloping over a hot, cold salad. I really enjoyed making something in the kitchen. I know, I know. I didn't think I would ever want to enjoy it so much. It was great. It was a very glamorous apartment, wasn't it? And I had a bath. Very fortunate with a bath and a washing machine, <laughs> a sofa, a TV. Not the nice fact you can't watch anything on TV. I've been practicing my Spanish. Which is very amusing. Um, but we did a wash and all sorts. It was a lovely apartment. We got there early actually yesterday. We're certainly starting to, in my opinion, get in our stride. We can sort of measure up to sort of 20, 25k a day now with actually killing ourselves. Having said that, we're still carrying a few war wounds, a few blisters, maybe. And thank you for your faith, Nicola. Hansford, have you got a, a, are you still torturing yourselves? <laughs> with, <laughs> with backpacks. Your backpacks? Yes. We are carrying We'll up. get used to it. And uh, my other, Nicola, Nicola B, have you got taxis yet? No, not no yet. No taxis. <laughs> I don't think we will, but I know well, we Well, it does mean. help that we get a little bit, getting a bit yeah. Camino, Camino snooty. Yeah. So we do see a few um, Americans who... Um, who do the choice bits of the Camino, which is their choice. I'm not going to be too critical, but they, uh, they do pop up. They, uh, they pop up, didn't they? They uh, appeared in, next to a, an olive grove with a, with a buffet table all spread. So we're all rocking along. Looking fresh and glam. <laughs> <laughs> we're all rocking along, not looking so fresh and glam after walking in the midday sun and they're, um, they appear in the taxi and have a, a nice lunch and then they, we carry on walking and of course they have their lunch and they spring along having done 5k or something, looking all glamorous and then they anyway that sounds really bitchy, it's not meant to be what it is. And then, then we see them the following evening all fresh as daisies and we're standing there staring as we do. <laughs> Anyway, that was bitchy and it really wasn't. But we were also saying that every single person who is, is having, playing any part of this Camino is quite special. Everyone, yeah. Whoever, the taxi riders, the Americans. <laughs> oh, there were also some Americans that worked really hard as well. Um, oh, no, no, no. We do see some Americans. <laughs> Joe and Greg were, they really dig in. And they, uh, Joe looks like a stereotypical American. Yeah, we talked about him on one of our videos. Oh, we did, yeah. like Barney Rubble. Yeah. And, but, uh, uh, you know, and he but digs deep, digs deep. Every single person doing this, there is a reason. They don't know why yet. <laughs> uh, but there is something that's drawn them to this. Something that's drawn us all to do this. So they have to be revered, I suppose, in a way, which is nice. Well, respected, you know. Yeah, respected. It's a kudos with it. So whilst we're on the tarmac road, this is not a made-up road, and that's where we've come from. And that's what we're going to with some pilgrims ahead of us who have started to do this steady. You'll notice, well, you may not notice, but it's a steady trek. And they've probably got it in their mind now that they can do around 20, 25k. And of course, if you leave early... <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you leave in good time you get to where you need to go to in good time and there's no need to be much earlier because you can't get into accommodation or burge or whatever much before two or three o'clock anyway so what else are you going to do except for enjoy the day and my message to jessica my daughter jessica who i managed to scrub up and look nice the other night she said mum you don't want to to frighten all the other pellegrinos, the other pilgrims. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> so what I was be talking about this morning, we were talking about the value of friends and, and how 
it's quite understandable. You have friends and sometimes they you have your life experience with them and then they they go on. Especially the last couple of years it's been tricky. Yeah. We're exposing differences where people, particularly with you, like to anchor on or anchor their beliefs on yours and when they don't align they can get really uh quite nasty about it friendships are friendships you know it's about the core self of who you are not what you're thinking or saying well one would have thought so unless you say it in a very simple <clears throat> way unless you yeah. want people unless you want those friends to support your underlying belief mm. and when they don't and they value a friendship that much it gets uh seems to have exposed some nasty cracks isn't it yeah. it's a bit sad anyway <clears throat> what else we've we been talking about what were we talking about last night oh, yes the whole world <laughs> well that's gone silent now. looking in looking into uh, places to stay <clears throat> Because uh, there's quite a, quite a lot of people doing this, you know, at this time. And I think people join it at different times. So they will be joining it. Well, certainly joining in Burgos, weren't they, we think. Which is quite a long way ahead. Which is before we go through the desert. Yeah. So people do these sort of clumps of stages, which is completely understandable. Mm. You've got two weeks. So what are we up to now then? It's 180. We must almost be knocking on the door of 200 kilometres. At least. Which is a, a notable distance on the uh, on the map. You notice there's a great you know swathe of land from Jean Pai de Paul down to here. But also we did get woken up with the reality of when we go next to the sort of main roads, it says that wherever we're going to is marked in kilometres <laughs> and it takes us it takes us three or four hours to do what would take ten minutes on a in a car and that's a little bit of a sometimes can be a little bit of a oh and we did meet you somebody yesterday who said oh we didn't do the last two bits we got the bus it took us half an hour didn't it yeah. It took us seven hours in raging heat to do that. But, yet again, you know, there is a respect for people trying to make a, a reasoned judgment. But we're going to do the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> so, well, it's all very beautiful. We also seem to be followed by, I say this bird, it's probably not the same one, but it seems to be he, she, them, seem to be following us. It's yet again, it's draped, paranoid, with, paranoid now. draped with uh, Rioja vineyards. Nothing more profound to say, Jenny? No, I think it's fine. I think... Yeah, we'll have more to say tomorrow, the next day. We can we're trying to capture what on. we're seeing as we tend to talk in the mornings yeah. and we don't capture it. And then by the time we get to try and do a video, if I manage to do one without screwing it up. So, uh, oh, okay then. Buen camino. Buen camino. Au revoir. <laughs>